guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another vlog on the channel. It's currently 8.30 in the morning. I'm about to get my day started, but I just grabbed some coffee. I'm chilling on the couch a little bit before I get the things started. But I wanted to start off today's vlog here because I'm going to be doing a productive day in my life. I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice, but I was sick last week which is also why I didn't upload last Friday. So we'll get into that a little bit later on, but um, this is gonna be like my first full day, like getting back into the groove of things. So I wanted to take you guys along, especially if you guys are like feeling unmotivated to really do anything. I definitely get in those kind of ruts um, often and I feel like I need to like watch something motivating or something productive to get back into it. So this could be that kind of video for you. So I hope you guys enjoy watching today's vlog and without further ado, let's get right on into the day. Okay, so I'm about to do my morning skincare, but before I do, I wanna give a huge shout out to Herbivore Botanicals for sending me some skincare products. I got these while I was sick, so I've been really looking forward to trying them, but it's from their Pink Cloud line. They sent me these to show you guys and for me to test out, so I thought what better time to try these out now. This is their creamy jelly cleanser. I'll do like little close-ups too. Um, I can't wait to try this. I feel like this is going to be like the perfect skincare before I, I put on my makeup. And then this is their vegan collagen plumping hydration serum. It's pink as well. It's so cute. And then lastly, I got the Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream. I feel like this is gonna be a perfect primer for um, my makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out, obviously starting out with the cleanser. I feel like this is like a perfect like morning skincare line because it's very, very gentle. Finished with the cleanser, my skin feels cold because I like to wash my face with cold water in the morning. Um, my skin kind of looks like a little glowy. Next, I'm going to be doing the Cloud Jelly Vegan Collagen Plumping Hydration Serum. I am so excited to include this in my skincare routine. I was like very looking forward to this one. Um, I can't wait to put it in my skincare fridge also because it's going to look so cute. I also just like how everything is pink. That's just me though. So I'm gonna put a couple drops on my fingers and just apply it all over the face. Oh my gosh, I can already see the hydration coming through. I've never had a plumping hydration serum or any kind of plumping serum for that matter. So I don't really know what the effects are on the skin. I think it's just to make your face feel like more like bouncy, like more youthful. But the hydration is definitely coming through. My face feels very, very hydrated right now. I also feel like this is perfect for like the fall and winter time because especially after being sick and with the weather changing, my face is starting to get pretty dry. Like especially my lips are very chapped. Now that the serum is set in a little bit, I'm going to do the Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream. I was thinking that this was going to be very similar to like the jelly cleanser, like how it's going to be like a very jelly consistency in a cream, but this is just cream guys, so. Oh, she's a thick moisturizer. This moisturizer is actually pretty thick. Thicker than my normal moisturizer, so. I'm also gonna take a little bit extra and put it under my eyes. Kinda like a eye cream almost, cause this feels so thick. I could almost double it as eye cream. I feel like this could benefit me like at nighttime more than the daytime. But that's just my personal preference. If you guys like a thicker moisturizer in the morning, then you probably will like it too. But I'll link all of this down below. Thank you again, Herbivore, for sending me these lovely skincare goodies. I am gonna go ahead and get ready for my day. So I'll catch back up with you guys once I'm done getting ready for my day.
I feel like lighting here is just gonna be overall bad because it's been raining all morning and it's kind of like overcast and it gets a little sunny but i just finished getting ready for the day um straightened my hair put on this cute sweater paired with these joggers these are from target and these are from h&m but i wanted to like catch up with you guys for a second because i didn't upload last week and that was because i was sick i Honestly, I'm not 100% sure of what I had, if it was either a really bad cold or if I actually had the vid. Because um, my sister actually tested positive last Monday and she was kind of sick like a few days before. Um, but literally a week ago today is when I started showing like symptoms of really bad body aches. I feel like that's the difference between like COVID and like how I typically have like a really bad cold is like the body aches were so bad. For some reason, like Monday and Tuesday, I had really bad body aches. Everything hurt so bad. Um, a lot of my pain was coming at my back. And then Tuesday, it started to become like my knees. And I never really had knee problems before. So I thought it was really weird that suddenly my knees started to ache, but literally overall my whole body was aching um and then after wednesday or so i started getting congested i felt like i had a sore throat my throat felt a little scratchy but that was literally it i used to get strep throat all the time so i thought that's what that was going to be but it ended up being congestion i have a little bit of congestion still um so i don't know if my like voice has changed or anything i can still taste just fine i just can't smell my body aches are completely gone on. so yeah that's what i was experiencing last week i literally took a break off social media i'm like i'm not even gonna worry about filming a video i was this close to filming a video on monday so i could like have a whole week to edit it and get it up on friday but i just started feeling worse on monday so one full week later i am feeling about like 99 percent better besides the congestion um i'm sleeping well again eating well again so i'm feeling good typically when i'm sick i don't like coffee i don't like to drink any kind of coffee at all and i started drinking coffee on sunday so that's really good i'm back at it i'm filming i wanted to have this as a catch-up day you know clean up my room get some work done all that kind of stuff okay so first order of business is i need to clean my room so bad i need to do a pretty nice like deep clean of my room obviously like when you're done being sick you would like wash your sheets that was already done so i'm just gonna make my bed but my nightstand looks like i'm still sick it has like tissues and medicine and all that kind of stuff so i need to reorganize that i need to wipe my dresser down and then pick up these pillows and then i have just a whole other mess on this side of the room as well so we're going to be doing a lot of picking up organizing wiping down um because it needs to get done and then also i got a couple new packages so i'm gonna unbox those but yeah let's go ahead and start out with like the smallest task which is making the bed <laughs> should be doing that every day but so
more cleaning off camera. I feel like I show like the same cleaning things every time I do a cleaning video of some sort. So um, I just did a lot of it off camera and try to switch up the angles this time around. But I got a new package. I got this while I was sick. Um, and I already know what this is. And I'm so excited. I'm just trying to find my scissors. Okay, I already know what this is. It's for an Instagram promotional. I'm working with Amika. I've worked with them on a couple of occasions so far. So I believe this is a holiday set. Oh, it has more things than I thought it was going to have. It came in this cute little bag. I could definitely use this for like traveling. Um, obviously to carry my little Amika stuff. But look at all this. This is so cute. Okay, so I have the Norm Core Signature Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I got this Soul Food Nourishing Mask. Um, and then their Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray, which I actually just got a huge bottle from them of this stuff. And this is their, I believe, like their Breast Cancer Awareness can because it's like pink, not green. So I got more of this stuff. I use this when I'm done curling my hair just to add a little bit more like texture to it. So I love this stuff, but I haven't tried the other things. This is the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I'm all about dry shampoo and then Brooklyn bombshell blowout spray it's a travel size set so I will definitely link this down below this is also a great like gift idea for people who um, you know who like hair I'm going to come up with like the photo like concept and like inspiration for this I'm gonna come up with that today so that's like one of the other things I have to get done um, as well as take more Instagram photos I also wanted to show you guys some things I just got at Target I just made a Target order yesterday I did it online I don't think I've ever ordered anything from Target online before so that was the first but I got some things before I got sick, and I haven't showed really anyone. I just bought it and moved on. Here's the first thing I got. Oh, this is what it looks like. I totally forgot what I got for a second. But I got this little Christmas tree. It's completely glass and has gold at the bottom. I'm really thinking, should I keep the gold or... Should I like paint it black? Cause you guys know, I kind of want to like throw out the gold accents, but for Christmas, I feel like it's inevitable. Um, but I got this cute Christmas tree, not a hundred percent sure where I'm going to put it yet, but you can put little fairy lights in here as well. I thought it was super cute. And then I got another Christmas tree. I got this green one. This is from like the dollar section, but it's glass and I don't know if you can really tell because I thought it was black at first, but it's actually green. I think you can see it there. Um, so I also just bought like cute little snowmen. They're really popular at Target right now, but it's like three little ceramic snowmen. I want to put it around this Christmas tree. I think that would be so cute. So I'm very excited to decorate for Christmas. Um, I'm definitely going to be posting that in December. Um, I'm typically the type of person that doesn't do any Christmas things until after Thanksgiving. So I might decorate like after Thanksgiving right before Vlogmas hits. So um, you guys will get some decorating content. But I am definitely will show you guys new pieces as I go and buy them. But... Stay tuned for the Decorate With Me um, at the very beginning of December, like December 1st. Oh, also, I feel like I've been shopping like here and there that I just haven't showed you guys because I haven't vlogged in like a week. But I also got this sweater. Obviously, you guys have seen me wear it this whole entire video, but it's cream and it's like this quarter button up from H&M so cute I got that and then it's super simple it's really not that big of a deal but I got a ribbed turtleneck top this is white as well I love the rib material it feels so stretchy I absolutely love it so I also got this at H&M 
um, because I just need more basics like this. But yeah, that's my little haul. I also am going through a little predicament right now. So I organized my vanity. I can just show you guys. I organized my vanity and I got this thing a while ago and I don't know what to put in it. Right now I just have like little nail polishes in there, but I don't know if I want to start adding my makeup in there and just make that the new like makeup place get rid of this somehow so then this can stay plain for like christmas decor or just put other like skincare or hair things in there i have no idea what to do so i'm gonna play with that um here and there but for right now this is what this mess looks like so yeah i think now what i'm gonna do is make a coffee and then I'm going to start planning some Instagram stuff, take Instagram photos. So I don't know how much of that I'm actually going to vlog, but I'll take you guys like behind the scenes of uh, planning my Instagram photos and editing them once I shot them. Cause I feel like it's weird filming me taking Instagram photos. I feel like it's a little weird. So um, I'll go ahead and pick up the vlog later on in that process. So I took advantage of golden hour and took some selfies. I also filmed a bunch of like TikTok and reels today. So I am probably gonna edit that tomorrow, but I have some of these selfies. But I honestly didn't do too much editing. It was golden hour, so that helped a lot, but I just decreased the exposure a little bit and up the highlights. And then I put them in my little feed planner. So this is what my feed looks like so far. And then I added the selfie on there. And then these photos are just inspiration photos. It doesn't mean I'm gonna like necessarily copy them. Um, but I like to see like certain poses and like certain feed filler photos, like where it's gonna go. So this gives me a really good inspo for what to shoot next but yeah here's what it looks like so far it has been a few hours since i last vlogged don't mind the little nose pieces on my glasses the original ones broke so i have like these foamy stickers on my glasses it was such a productive day in my life for sure got a lot of cleaning done and organization and just like ready to start the new week. Thank you again to Herbivore Botanicals for sending me all the skincare goodies. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next vlog next week. Bye!